Hi, it's me again, Miss Huda. Now, let's solve a problem on the calculation of moment of inertia with example number 1. Determine the moment of inertia Ixx and Iyy of the area shown with respect to the centroidal x and y axis. Which means that we're going to get the value of Ixx and Iyy Dengan distance dia kepada centroid of X and Y axis of the object. First, we have to calculate the centroid of the axis with any point of reference. Since in the question, it did not mention any point for you to refer. Therefore, I put the point of reference here. Then we can get the value of ax bar and ay bar as per previous topic and finally get the value of x bar and y bar the value that i get for x bar is 46 mm from x axis and 40 mm from y axis i'm going to mark the centroid of this section with the reference from the x-axis and y-axis here, the distance would be 46 mm from x-axis and 40 mm from y-axis. So this is where the centroid of the section. We're going to start to calculate for Ixx first. To calculate the value of Ixx, it is much easier for you to create a table like this and divide it in equal section yang macam you kira untuk dapatkan centroid which is there is section 1 and 2. The first area here is 1600. Just extract from the table where you calculate for the centroid and was for the section 2 it is 2400. Next, we're going to calculate for the Ixx for rectangle section. For rectangle section, we know that the formula will be BD cube divided with 12. Just take the breadth of the first section, which is 80 mm times with the depth which is 20 mm, power of 3, bahagi 12. Then, the way I kira, I'm going to divide it with 1 million. Because, untuk Ixx dan Iyy, kalau you pakai unit dia mm, eh, you akan dapat number yang besar, like thousands or millions. So, lagi senang you pakai dalam bentuk darab 10 kuasa 6. Therefore, I divide it with 1 million value yang you dapat for this calculation bahagi dengan sejuta so you akan dapat 0.053 darab 10 kuasa 6 millimeter kuasa 4 so basically darab 10 kuasa 6 millimeter kuasa 4 I dah buat dekat header atas ni jadi kita faham that this value actually you have 2 times with 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. Next, we need to find the value of h because as I mentioned, we need to get the centroid of the section yang kita kira to the centroid of the whole section because the question asks you to find the Ixx in respect to the centroid of x and y axis. Jadi kepada centroid x dan y untuk section ini. So, any distance must go to the centroid. First, we have section 1. The distance will be this one, yeah. From top to bottom adalah 80 mm. So, how are we going to get from the centroid here to the centroid of the whole section? So, kalau 80 mm, you kena minus lah berapa value di sini 
and berapa value di sini. So, ini yang kita nak ya. Eh? Here it is 46. And for above here, obviously 20 mm bahagi 2. So, you dapat 10. Meaning, 80 mm minus 46 minus 10. Then, you're going to get the value 24. Then, get the value of a h square power of 2. So, just take the area here, which is 1600 times with 24 kuasa 2. Then, you're going to get some values bahagikan dengan sejuta. So, you akan dapat dalam sebutan darab 10 kuasa 6 mm kuasa 4. And just take this BT cube divide with 12 plus with AH square. Then you will get 0 0.975 times 10 power of 6 mm kuasa 4. Next, we're going to do for section 2. The BD cube divide with 12. B is 40 mm. And the D is 60 mm. Mm. Power of 3 divide with 12. Bahagi dengan sejuta. You will get in this sebutan ya. And how about H? The distance from the centroid of the section 2 to the centroid of the whole section. For this one, the centroid will be around here. Section number 2. So, we're going to find what is the value here. What we know is from the top here up until very bottom of the section, it is 60 mm. So, it should be from the bottom to the centroid, it is 30 mm. We take the 46 mm sebab jarak dia daripada the point of reference kita, x-axis ni, ke centroid adalah 46 mm. So, kalau kita nakkan jarak ini, so 46 minus 30. Then, you will get 16 mm. Then, we need to find the AH square. Just take the area and times with the H power of 2. Divide with 1 million, you're going to get 0 0.614 times 10 power of 6 millimeter kuasa 4. And take the BD cube divide with 12 plus 0 0.614 AH square. The value will be 1.334 times 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. The value of total I accept for the whole section will be all this. So you need to add the two value together and you will get 2.309 times 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. So that will be for IXX. Next, we're going to calculate for IYY and we know that the distance from y-axis, because we have calculated the centroid previously, from the centroid to the y-axis, it is 40 mm. So, sama juga area, ambil saja dari previous calculation, and use db cube divide with 24 iyy. That is the formula for rectangle. For the first section, the D is 20 mm and B is 80 mm. Power of 3 divided with 12 bahagi lagi dengan sejuta. You akan dapat 0 0.853 times 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. Next, we calculate the value of H. For H, it will be from the centroid 
of that this particular section ke centroid of the whole section. So centroid for this particular section will be here. And centroid for this particular section pun berada dekat garisan yang sama which is this one. Sebab ini adalah untuk YY ya. Eh. Jadi kita perlukan distance yang horizontal ini berapa. So kalau dia basically sharing the same line here. H adalah kosong. And AH square pun kosong. So the db cube divided with 12 adalah the final value for section 1. For section number 2, the D will be 60 mm and B is 40 mm. Power of 3 divided with 12, bahagi dengan sejuta, you will get 0 0.32 times 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. And for H, the centroid of the whole section is here. And the centroid for this particular section 2 is here. And since the horizontal distance dia adalah kosong. Sebab dia share the same garisan. Dia tak ada garisan. Dia tak ada jarak yang macam ini ya. Tak ada. Basically sama. Garisan yang sama. So the H will be 0. A H square 0. Then the B, D B cube divided with 12 plus A H square will be 0 0.32. Times 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. And for the whole section, add these two together. You will get 1.173 times 10 power of 6 mm power of 4. That will be all for example number 1. I hope you get the idea. See you again. Bye.